Hello everyone, my name is Ever Barbero, and today I'd like to talk about example 10.3 in my textbook, Finite Element Analysis of Composite Materials Using Abacus. In this example, we show you how to simulate the debonding between two layers, also called substrates, by using the virtual crack closure technique, VCCT, described in section 10.2 of the textbook. First, we set the work directory to a new folder for this example. Now get the CAE files from example 10.2. On the left menu, rename the model CoSurf as VCCT, and save it in the work directory for this example. In module interaction, select property, and delete the cohesive behavior and damage properties. Still in interaction, edit the interaction called COH, change the sliding formulation to small sliding, then clearance, to uniform equals 10 exponential minus 7. In module step, select step 1 to edit the field output requests, to include the strain energy release rates, ENRRT, and the bond state, BDSTAT. Next, we work directly on an image of the input file, .inp. From menu model, select keywords for model VCCT that we defined earlier, then look for the section, Interactions. At the end of the interactions, insert the initial conditions, type equals contact. Then define a bond between the top and bot sets. At the end of the step, assign the slave and master sets for the debond model. And the fracture criterion. Type equals VCCT. Mixed mode behavior equals BK. Tolerance equals 0.1. The first three values are the critical energy release rates in modes 1, 2, and 3 that control crack onset. The fourth value is the exponent in the BK equation. Now define a new job, called X10-3, using model VCCT, and submit it. When completed, click results. In results, Let's look at an animation of the deformed shape, where we can see that the debonded region grows far beyond its initial length. Now let's plot the opening displacement, U2, versus the applied opening force, RF2. First, save the reaction force as VCCT RF2. Now do the same with U2. Now operate on XY data, 
to combine U2 and RF2 into an object that we can plot. And call it BCCT. And now we plot it. Okay, that's it for today. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. You can find more details in the textbook, by following the link in the description. Thank you.